Hi guys, so time for a new video and this time I decided to challenge myself a bit um, by trying out some new art supplies um, and well challenging myself to use those um, those supplies in kind of one piece um, together and I had some I've been looking at for quite a while and I decided that I wanted to test them out before Christmas so that I could uh, wish for um, for some more for Christmas if if I like them. So um, what I've been looking at a lot is the um, Winter and Newton inks, uh, which... Um, have gotten great reviews on Amazon and also um, by other YouTubers um, and is something quite different from what I normally use with my Copic markers or color pencils so I thought it would be fun to try them out and they're not that terribly expensive to buy individually so um, I decided to go, go with uh, two different colors so an apple green and this scarlet red and they come in these cute little boxes so yeah this pretty red one and pretty green one because as you may know or have noticed i do like con using contrast colors together so i thought they would be neat um to use in one piece together and then um, I um, want to try one. Oh, hi. Um, sorry about that. My phone just caught me off um, because it um, didn't have any more uh, room left. So, okay. Anyways, I um, have been wanting to try one of these pearlescent um, acrylic inks or paints um, for a while now. I think I saw them in either it was the art snacks or the sketch box for one of the um, months um, recently. Um, and I think they looked so pretty and this blue color looks so pretty. It actually looked quite a bit darker I have to say on the screen. Uh, so I was a little bit disappointed when I saw how light it is but pretty uh, pleasant shine and I wanted to see yeah I wanted to try that out and also maybe ask for some more for Christmas if I like them but um, also just to try it out so I decided to go with these three products and bought them um, on Amazon and from the same place um, which is called Jackson uh, Jackson's Art Supplies, which is a place in the UK, and I have ordered from them before, so I know that they have excellent, cheap, and fast shipping. So um, I quite like uh, using them, and they had all three items, and uh, I think I paid fifteen uh, British pounds in total, including shipping, shipping for these three things. So. An issue with this was that this was what I ordered, um, but what came was actually these two and this one, which instead of being blue is a it's called autumn gold. So it's this really really pretty yellowish gold um, pearlescent uh, paint. So um, I checked up on it and I did order the blue one. So I wrote to um, Jackson's Art Supplies customer service and they um, answered the same day um, asking me if I would like the item I ordered, the blue one, or a refund. Uh, so I wanted the blue one and they shipped it out within a few days. No extra charge and I got to keep this one. So just saying, I'm not getting anything to um, promote them, but I just wanted to say that that was really excellent customer service. Uh, fast and yeah, 
just excellent service that I get to keep that this one and don't have to bother uh, shipping it back. And it's always wrapped in a lot of uh, bubble wrap. Um, and this is this is glass containers, so uh, that's quite important. But the thing is, I got these ones, um, and while I, I was waiting for well these two and the blue one to arrive, um, I did the sketch here, um, thinking that I would do um, some green hair with some red lips and green eyes, and then the blue background and then this arrived and I didn't want to wait um, so I decided to use this together and I actually think these are even better color combinations than the blue one so I just decided to um, use this one for the background instead and so um, a thing with, with these things well I, I changed my mind with the hair color so I ended up doing um, red hair instead but yeah first I if I go with the pearlescent ink first um, first I colored in the background with that one uh, so I wouldn't kind of um, smudge the other colors out into the background uh, if I did it last and it's really pretty um, I do think it's a really pretty um, not normal gold color, but it does have this yellow shine to it, so it's really um, it's really pretty. And I watered it down a bit, and um, I think it does take a little bit of practice um, to get an even layer. Um, and I had to, the more I watered it down, the easier it became. I found, but if you want an even layer of um, with a thick layer of paint, I think it does take some getting used to but I'm not used to using acrylics so that's probably why and I used um, some paper that I usually use for it's some it's a type of mixed media paper so there's probably other papers that would be better for that because it kind of absorbed the water quite fast making it difficult to to apply um, I had to be quite fast when I applied it so but yeah, I found it worked better if I kind of um, watered down the paper a bit before, so saturating it with water and then applying with the paint. But I really love this this paint and this color, so I'm actually looking quite forward to... I haven't tested the blue one yet, so I'm looking quite forward to, um, to trying that out as well, and we'll have to do something with it soon, I think. So, yeah, so moving onwards to the inks um, on the pro side they are really um, they're quite pigmented and really clear it ha they have a really bright clear color and um, it was really interesting to work with them because I'm not not really used to painting and like well in my teens so quite uh, a while ago I did a lot of watercolor painting and um, this is not like that. I don't think it behaves like watercolor. I didn't expect it to otherwise, but it's kind of similar still. So yeah, it has, and I watered it down and and then to, to get different um, shades of the same color to do my, yeah, my shading, but I, I find it um I found it very nice to work with. So um and I do think it's great value for money in that regard. It seems like a quality product and it's like three and a half pounds, British pounds for each of those. So even though they're small, I think there are a lot of ink in them or it, it yeah. It will last me a while, these two. So Another thing that was quite disappointing about these, though, which may have more to do with the colors I chose, maybe, than the inks themselves. I wouldn't know yet, because I have only tried these two colors, but as you can see in the video, they come up quite neon-y. So the, the apple green one 
actually look like the green um, text highlighter you can buy, I think. And the red one, which is supposed to be scarlet red and does look scarlet red when you look at the container, was actually pink and very neony pink, so it looks like the pink highlighter. And I wasn't really expect expecting that, and well, I could do with green, bright green, and a bright pink, but not. I'm not too fond of neon colors because yeah, they do remind me a lot of of highlighters. So um, I actually ended up feeling that it was ruined the piece and. Um, Attempted to save it with Copic markers, which, um, yeah, I have to say, I'm I'm happy with the end results. So that worked out well, and you can see the the pink, um, especially through um, the Copic markers. I didn't kind of cover it completely, but that was quite disappointing. Um, but I have to say, I haven't given up on them yet. So I've actually asked for some for Christmas and some other colors just to see if this is just. <clears throat> me being unlucky with these ones and if I buy some <clears throat> excuse me if I buy some darker ones two seconds mm. yeah sorry I just had to clear my throat um, if I buy some darker colors then maybe they won't be appear that near me and also I'm thinking um, it may have something to do also with the type of paper I used so I want to try it out on different papers and also I have some um, some tanned paper. I think I'll try them out as well. Yeah, bye guys.